Okay, so a quick little, yes, I'm sorry, I'm blocking your sunshine. So sometimes I get asked about what brush or comb that I suggest for the kitties and they all have different coats and I talk about that in a separate video. I actually have two separate videos talking about their different coats and what to do for brushing a little bit, but more so how to do fur removal like from furniture and things around the house. But if you can see, <laughs> this kind of brush is not good at all for her kind of coat because look at the furniture right here. It's just basically brushing off of her. <laughs> She's like, how dare you show this part of my beauty process? Look at the furniture right here. We just caught it perfectly in the sunlight. This kind of brush right here, not good for, I mean, definitely not the bristle side for, I don't think, unless you maybe have a sphinx or some super short haired cat that just enjoys it as a massage more so, but even that side, not good at all. This is kind of more of a dog brush, to be honest, for medium to long haired dogs like maybe a border collie or like a, a golden retriever, things like that. But for cats, unless you have a super long haired cat, I honestly might not even suggest it for that. So the best kind of kitty brush that you can use sporadically is the Furminator, no matter what their coat is. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're about to have some drama. Oh, look at that tail. Okay, there he goes. <gasps> Funny cake. We're suddenly at my house. So here's little Roni, and here are the two brushes that I use and suggest. Why they are both purple, I have no idea. That was not on purpose. These companies know that cats should be receiving things in, in a royal color. Right, Roni? You just want to get brushed. This I've already gotten using this first one I'm going to show you, which I've spoken about in videos before. It's called the Furminator. <laughs> and this is serious brushing. I think this is the large one, and you can see I barely did one run. And look, look at all this. He's going to want to eat it. This is something that you don't want to use every day. This is something that you want to use depending on your kitty's coat, which is perfect for Ronan's coat. I believe he has two layers. He definitely has an undercoat. And I speak about that in another video as well. I might just link the one below where I talk about the coats and the shedding and the, the good brush. With this Furminator, you don't want to brush the same spot over and over. You kind of want to go around their body. And you don't want to do this more than two to three times a week max. Look at all this. Look at all this. I mean, it's I, it's difficult to do this with one hand. Usually I kind of like, but look at all this. And another thing I like about this, too, look at all this. Do you see what's coming off back here? Usually, like I said, I gather it with one hand. I'll do this on Ronin maybe, I don't know, once or twice a week, to be honest. With four kitties, I feel like I'm just constantly, just constantly cleaning and, and caring for them. I mean, you know how it is if you have cats. Oh man, Alfred, he's sleeping right now. I'm not gonna bother him with this, but if you know my toasted marshmallow floof Alfred, he has that floofy undercoat. But especially during the summer, this, this is what you wanna get, this is what you wanna use. And the reason why you don't wanna use it too much and why you don't wanna use it in one spot over and over is because it can thin out the hair. If you do it too much, it can thin out the hair a little too much to where they get splotchy spots and, and not bald, bald spots, but I mean, surely if you did it too rough, though, hopefully none of you would do that. The other brush I'm gonna tell you about is this one, and I'm pretty sure I got these both off Amazon. I'm gonna link everything in the description below. This guy, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it off Amazon, and I like this one because while this one just is the brush and then the button pushes the hair out, this one, you hit the button and it puts the bristles out, and when you put it back in, here, let me show you with somebody. Is it gonna be you again? <laughs> he loves being brushed, but so does, oh, speak of the devil. I was about to say, so does puppy. He hears me clip this, he hears this thing go, and he comes running. Alfred and Betty, it's so weird how these two are so similar and Alfred and Betty are so similar. So you also wanna be careful when brushing your cat. I mean, be aware of their hot spots. You don't want to brush them in the places for their, <laughs> are you? Are you just the audience now? You don't want to brush them on their hot spots, which puppy has sensitive skin. He loves being brushed, but he also has sensitive skin, so I, I do it pretty lightly. And he'll do his little drool, most likely. Hi, baby. So, barely got any, but click the button, and then it just wipes off. And this is a weird thing I do. Sometimes I'll go back and forth between brushing, no, okay, everybody. I'll go back and forth between brushing a white cat and a black cat, and I make like an, an Oreo 
fur bundle. Is that weird? Okay, maybe that's too much information. So that's just a little tidbit about the different brushes. Like I said, I have a couple of other much more fancily edited and produced videos about this, but I figured I'd show you guys real quick while it was fresh in my mind. And because you seem to like these little tips often like that. Oh, here she is. See, watch. Betty! 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 Honey! Oh. Okay, oh, you just wanted to do this up on your chair? You're so bougie. There we go, look at that, I barely touched her. Oh, puppy. Are we gonna try and get Alfred, you guys? You think, yeah, this thing is just intense, this verminator. So definitely twice a week, maybe three times a week, and I wanna say it even comes with suggested directions on how often to use it. Look at this, look at this. Oh, you're happy with it. You like it. Look at this, though. look at this undercoat, look at this. Puppy's jealous, puppy's just gonna keep chasing me around until I brush him again. The beast is sleeping. <laughs> Alfred's not the biggest fan of being brushed, but when he's half asleep, it's my safe time to do everything. I don't know why I'm doing this on my bed right now. I don't suggest doing that. Ronan, you're worse than pup. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so there's that. Thank you for being so good, Roni Baloney. Oh my gosh, so much hair. I'm gonna have to swiffer after this. Uh, summer season. All right, so because I told you guys about it, I had to make my cat hair Oreo. <laughs> I mean, look at it though. I feel like I can sell this on Etsy. Anyway, yeah, that's that's all I wanted to share today. Furminator, this guy, which I'll find and I'll put linked in the description below. And then I will also share those other couple of videos. You want me to brush you some more? Your brother's gonna get jealous. Are we gonna make a package of these Oreos? This is actually like the perfect size too. Anyway, I hope this was helpful and we will see you in the next video. Bye.